play consistent golf by following these steps. This week's video is aimed at beginner golfers just getting into the game. Or you might be an established golfer and you want to recap some of the key fundamentals to help you improve your game. So the first thing you, you must start with is by looking at the setup. So I use an acronym called GASP, okay? Grip, aim, stance, posture. So when you're looking at your setup, think of those four things, grip, aim, stance, posture, and just check them that you're in the right position. So first of all, with the grip, again, mainly here for beginner golfers, we're gonna assume you're right-handed, left hand goes at the top, and you want to see two knuckles visible here on that left hand as you're looking down. You want this V here created between your thumb and your forefinger pointing up to your right shoulder. And then the right hand, that represents the angle of the club face in this position. That's gonna come in from side on like so. This is the baseball grip where the right hand sits directly below the left and there's no gap in between. If you feel comfortable, not everybody does to begin with, but if you want to interlock your pinky on your right finger, forefinger on your left finger, if you want to interlock those, again, covering the thumb, that will give you a little bit more control. Okay, so just interlocking like so. Once you've got the grip, it should be quite easy to hinge the club up and down, move it freely. This is help, gonna help you control the club face. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I post three weekly videos to help you improve your game. So the next part of our gasp is the aim. Okay, so we want to aim the club face. We want to get that club face pointing at our target and then we want our feet, knees, hips and shoulders to be parallel to our club face. So we've got our ball to target line and then we've got our body line. They should be running nice and parallel. And then from within that, we're going to start off with a seven iron, even use a bit more loft if you're just starting out, the more loft the better. So eight, nine iron, even a pitching wedge. But we want that ball position in the middle of our stance, okay? So as, we, as we're gripping it, we want that ball position in the middle of our stance, okay? And the stance should be roughly shoulder width. With the longer clubs, with the driver, it's gonna be a bit wider, but typically, if you start off with shoulder width, depending on your height and your body type, that's a good place to start. And then our final part of our gasp is posture. Okay, so what I what I always say is stand upright in, in this shoulder width position and you want a slight bend in the knees, slight bend from the hips. Okay, and, and then from there, we're going to get some natural shoulder hang or natural arm hang where the arms just naturally hang under your chin. If you're too much this way, you've not got enough hip tilt, just get into this position here, put your hands together, and that's gonna allow you to get into the correct distance from the ball. So let the arms hang, grip the club, and then you're just going to shuffle into the ball, and that will be your distance from the ball. So now we've established the correct setup, I want to give you some basic, simple feelings around the swing. Okay, so the key thing here is, as, from, from, as the backswing develops, we want to turn the shoulders, so controlling it with the chest and the upper body, we need to turn the shoulders, keeping the head still. Think of a, a sort of a coiled spring, if you like, where you're rotating back, keeping that weight nice and centered, and you're going to keep your left arm straight, and your right arm is gonna have a a bend in it, roughly about 90 degrees, okay? Show you that once more. Turn with the shoulders, left arm straight, head still, right arm a little bit bent. That's gonna get you in the position that's gonna give you some good power and it's gonna keep it nice and consistent because the consistency lies around where we're striking the ground, okay? So again, if you are just starting out, I want you to practice this move where you're going to just hit the mat and it should be in the middle of your feet and you're going to try to hit that in the same point 
every time, okay? What we find with a lot of beginners, they'll hit the mat back here, over here. If we can keep our head still, our body turning, left arm straight, we're going to try and get some consistency hitting that mat. I would suggest doing that first before we introduce the golf ball. And now just to give you some simple feelings on the follow through, on the back swing, we've obviously got this nice big turn. And then all you're going to think about on the follow through is doing the opposite. So we're going to, we're going to turn and we're going to face our chest to the target. Okay, so watch that nice and closely. There. And we're going to turn and face the target, keeping that chest moving. What you'll notice is that as I swing through, the weight goes forward onto my front foot. What I see in a lot of beginners and even a lot of established golfers is that weight falls back and going back to controlling that strike, controlling that low point, they hit the ground too early. So really focus on transferring the weight, rotating and getting that chest facing forward. Once more. And then holding that balance for three seconds. Now it's time to introduce the golf ball. If you feel, if you want a little bit of help with the strike, you can start by using a tee peg. So we can pop the ball on a tee peg. That obviously sits the ball up a little bit, but it does help you with the strike initially to, to get the timing, get the contact, building the confidence. We can go through our steps and I want you just to start off, start off quite slow, just getting a feel for the movement, okay? So we're gonna start off pretty slow and really just getting a feel for the contact, a feel for the strike. And then once you feel comfortable, you might have hit 10, 20 balls. You might have even done a couple of range sessions with a tee. We then want to get used to hitting it off the ground, okay? And this again comes back to this point of controlling our low point hitting the ground in the same spot all the time. Okay, well, let's give that a go. Going through all of our steps. Again, keeping it nice and slow, getting that nice contact and building it up. Hope you found that useful, guys. Um, as I said, largely aimed at beginner golfers, but equally, if you're an established golfer, wanted to go back through the basics, initially look at the setup, some simple keys on the backswing, and the same for the follow through. As always, please like and subscribe, post any comments down below. Look forward to catching up with you very soon.